of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in our today's Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered here around the table of the Lord to give him thanks, to give him praise, to give him honor. He is our Heavenly Father. He created us so that we may know him, love him, and serve him. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have put through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask the best men to get in front of all the innocent saints and human brothers and sisters to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God help us for us, forgive us for our sins, and bring us to the last life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on now he is the people of good will. We bless him, we bless him, we adore him, we glorify him, we give you thanks for your greater glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the God and Son, love of God, love of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, our mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, our mercy on us. For you are not the Holy One. You are not the Lord. You are not the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may make what you promise. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thou hast the Lord. You shall not bless or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not cross any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to you, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will spare us, and I will kill you with a sword. Then your whole wife will be widowed, and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner towards him, by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has in his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I am the Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength.
my guide, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise the Lord, I have saved, and I have saved from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord gives and blesses me my rock, extolled by my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I bow to the Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we are among you for your sake. And you became heirs of us and of the Lord, receiving the word with great affliction, with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that it became a model for all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has come forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth. So that, we, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how we turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom you raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the country wrath. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At the end of the service, 
a priest gave them a small wooden cross to which Mary had He said to them, Place this cross in the room in which you find the most, and you will be reminded of God's commandments, commandments of love, and would argue you as much. One woman came up after the service and said to the priest, You better give me five crosses. What can you say about love? I mean, everything has been said so often. Love here, love there, he loves me, he loves me not, love, love, love. You get kind of tired of the word love. Always, when you go to watch a movie, like when I was very young, I used to watch some movies and I remember one movie called Secret. You notice that in the near all the movies are about love. Love. Love goes on until the very end. Of course, the end of the movie is the beginning of marriage. But usually, they do not tell you that you have love all the days in a married life. And they don't even tell you that you are going to face all the problems and how to face them. That comes with the action, actual loving in marriage. Anyway, the word love, when it is used correctly, it is a sweet word. It touches your heart and brings you alive. Takes you and uh, takes away the sadness and it makes you feel happy again. The central theme of today's readings is the greatest commandment in the Bible. Loving God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and loving the neighbor as you love yourself. Loving God should be expressed in action by loving the neighbor. Our love for God is tested and put into practice by the way we love our neighbor. The first reading, taken from the book of Exodus, explains the second commandment, namely, loving one's neighbor, especially the under privilege. The Lord told them that you ought to do good brothers and not to oppress them just as they themselves can be rescued from oppression and slavery in Egypt. They should take care of those who were vulnerable, like widows and orphans and they will not take advantage and make profit from others. Basically, the Lord wants each and every one of us to follow his example in love, to show genuine love and compassionate to each other, and not get ready, anger, or to be jealous, or egoistic in our actions and interactions with one another. We must show respect for others, their relationships, and their reputations and their property. This love begins at home with our parents, then it extends beyond our family and friends to the strangers, especially the poor, the sweet, the lonely, the sinners, the marginalized, and those who are slave liberty. Love of labor knows no nationality or class distinction, religion, 
or murders of any kind because God knows no such boundaries. The second grid said Paul congratulate his audience on the positive effects of their example of loving one another as Jesus commanded them, commanded them to do. The Christ in the gospel with great faith, he tells them, and they are withstood as the Christians with joy. Those actions, particularly the love and response for himself, they are ready to believe in Jesus and their generous living out of, out of that faith have boosted the faith of Christians elsewhere who have heard about them. And in our gospel today, the Pharisees ask Jesus this question. Master, which is the greatest commandment, commandment of the law? It is as if they do not know the answer. But they know the answer. They know the law through and through. Some Bible scholars think it was a trap. It was a trap question, a trick question, because the Pharisees believed that each one of the 613 commands the Torah were equally of great importance and they were necessary to be obeyed. Therefore, they were trying to corner Jesus into showing either ignorance about the law or respect for part of it by choosing one command over the others. It's like the way Pope Francis and Johann Fries was cornered by the Vatican journalist over the issue which Pope had repeatedly spoken about from 2013. The need for the Catholic Church to welcome and love people regardless of sexual orientation. Yes, it was spoken the other day and they really touched some of us and their faith is sinking because we cannot understand what Pope tried to say. Yeah, was speaking something what which he had lost in his book on 2013. The need for the Catholic Church to welcome and love people regardless of sexual orientation, not to condemn them, but to show mercy. This came after the after he had signed the new encyclical on October for all and that uh, encyclical is called Pratel Tutti, which means all brothers. And some of us, they had that revelation that something will happen after Paul can release that document. Not a dear brothers and sisters, not me, not this. Pope Francis is not promoting civil union of gay marriage. His words were taken out of context. But he is asking for the protection of those lost brothers in the society not to be rejected from their families. This has already been clarified by the Pope himself. So do not let yourself be fooled or manipulated by anyone or by the media. He is calling for the homosexual not to be not to be restricted in their own family's circles, being rejected by their own parents, siblings, and relatives. Pope was defending what the church has always been defending. Pope condemns the sin, not the sinner. Even Jesus did not condemn the woman who was caught committing adultery, but condemned the sin. And he told the woman, Go and do not sin anymore. Who is to judge the Pope and ask Christ? 
The key point of the book is not to screw anybody, condemn anybody, but to forgive and pray for the conversion of sinners. If you are a Catholic but have not prayed for regularly for Francis, you have no rights to complain over what sin and whether what sin is right or wrong. Is he wrong according to your opinion? Do you think Satan does not specifically target the successor of Peter? If you believe he is a human being like you, like me, created the image and the likeness of God, please love him and pray for him all the time. Jesus gave the answer to the scholars of the law who attempted to test his mind that we have to love one another as we love ourselves. Because all of us bears God's image. And to honor God's image is to honor him. He also gave them a Jewish prayer which is called Shema. Therefore you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. To love God means putting him first, respecting his name, and keeping his name Sabbath, Sunday for us, holy, like the way you have come. You have already kept the day of the Lord holy. So you are loving God. It also means a dedication of the entire person to his way. Praising him first in one's mind and in the heart. Speaking respectively about him. Love of God transforms life every awaiting moment of every day. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, reflect today upon the simple call to love God and your neighbor with all your heart, with all your soul, with all what you are, all what you are. So our prayer this morning, this afternoon, God. I choose to love you with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul, with all my strength. I also choose all people as you love them. Give me the grace to live these two commandments of love and to see them as a path to holiness of life. I do love you, dear Lord. Help me to love you more and more. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.
and taught us the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. You come again in glory to God the living and the dead, and his kingdom brought joy. And with the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who be the Father and the Son, and God the glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, and be in one, holy, perfect, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trust in God's mercy for let us begin our prayers today. For the church, may God help us remain faithful to all his commandments and grow in the fullness of the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For citizens of the world to look out for and support one another, especially caring for refugees and migrants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill with the coronavirus, may Jesus, the divine physician, offer them hope and provide healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this gathering assembly, may the Lord May the love and truth that God has poured into our hearts sustain us in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are all here. For each of us to listen to the anguish of those who have endured the injustice of racism, to respond with humility, and to resolve to redress the wrong that has, they have suffered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, especially Salfa Khan John Dick, Gloria Perez, Nelly Perez, Segundo Perez, Antonio and Anastasia Villajuan, and for all whose death was caused by the coronavirus, may they enjoy eternal peace in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are all hands. For those who have recently died in our parish family, namely, Hugo Barajas, Kathleen Lennon, Cecilia Polinares, and Nina Fabice de Harrison. May they know God's perfect peace and the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, we are going to pray. We now pray silently for our own intentions and those held deep within our hearts.
Ukraine, who had a position as a high factory case in China, he was. We be accepted to the blood from 95. They no longer accept the sacred place of my friends for the praise and glory of this is name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in our service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, for which everyone gives thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, for through the is past mystery. He accomplished the marvelous things by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, by summoning us to the glory of King now God, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, and to have called us out of darkness into our own wonderful light. And so we be Jews and Archangels with thrones and dominions, and with all, his, with all the force and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory without end we agree. Holy, holy, holy God, Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy to God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the after this gift we pray, by setting down the spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may come to us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was with prayed and had unwillingly his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the hope of the resurrection, 
and all our kind lovers, we have complained to the light of your peace, from us on us while we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed God's name, we may make thee for us to come alive, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and home, I invite you with the Spirit, our brother, who are men, our enemy. I did not come that we will be done on our destiny. Give us this day in our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the King of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Please, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your way, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord always be with you. Let us talk to each other in the sign of peace. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold the love of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that we should enter the mouth, but only the state of the world, and my soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ will be saved from the rain. Amen.
celebrate inside, we will one day possess the truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God the Father bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord in your lives. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week. Oh, my God.
have some hour. Yeah. 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 No, no, I want to see 4.30 or something. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. After mass, yeah. yeah so. Sometimes we just pre appeared for last year, so. Oh, your phone is still on. <laughs> yeah, so now they're just going to watch you clean up the church. <laughs> okay, right. 